Brigadoon, a town that only comes to life once every 100 years. The famed learner and low classic is a tale of love, faith, and it's powerful enough to move mountains. And we're so glad to have two of the stars here, Matthew Taylor and Adam Meckhart. Guys, welcome. Thanks so much for coming in. We appreciate it. So who do you play? What do you love about your characters? Please. I Such play gentlemen, right? <laughs> you first. <laughs> I play Charlie Dalrymple. Oh. So that's a, that's a mouthful. Notice a roll the, the tackle? Oh, nice. man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you uh, love playing about uh, him? Uh, he's he's happy-go-lucky. He's in love. He has no conflict until oh, the very, very end. When the living is and easy. he's the polar opposite. Oh. I am I am Mr. Drama in the show. You're I trouble, aren't you? I am yeah. trouble. I play Tommy Albright. I'm the American, uh, one of two Americans in the show. And uh, we come to Scotland on a, on a hunting trip and we, we leave with love. Matthew, I know that you've been in a lot of plays. Cats, 42nd Street. How is this one different? Uh, this one's got a much more mystical quality to it. There's, uh, mm. The love story is, is pretty standard. It's kind of what you would expect. Boy meets girl, boy falls in love, etc. But it's set in a, a place that has... Um, it's set in a place that, that, that doesn't exist for everybody that's living in 2018. And uh, that just adds a completely different layer of drama when you try to decide whether so love cool. is what you want. Wow, well, Adam, I know you've done, uh, performed with the New York Pops, Carnegie Hall. I mean, I what are you thinking? What's the difference in terms of being here at the Wick Theater? Well, the, the, you don't have a set at Carnegie Hall. We have a beautiful <laughs> turntable with a mountain. He points out the obvious. <laughs> yeah. That's always, well, I mean, that's a huge given factor because yeah, you sure. don't always have like a For lot of audience. stuff to work with. Sure. And when you're doing a concert, you have an audience with no, no scenery, no set. Mm -hmm. And you just bark and bark. I mean, you you really make it come to life, though. You're, you're being modest. Well, and we're lucky enough here to be able to play on a set. You know, in big difference, I'm playing on a set that they built themselves, mm. which is which is new for this theater. That's kind of nice. And it's really a spectacular looking, uh, fully automated set that. Um, I don't feel like we get to play on things like that very often. Mm -mm. So let me ask you all this. We know there's a lot of classic songs in this play, and then you have to show up your your dance moves. How they show off their dance moves. I know. Yeah, there was oh, a video okay. over there. We're there, not in okay. any of those I, videos. I was making sure because my producer <laughs> said that you two, so you're no dancing. I do a mean chasse in this show. Oh. I'm not going to lie to you. My chasse is on point. Okay. Uh, I do a couple of spins, we'll be maybe like a, a, you pick, a you, ball You pick toe. up Bonnie Jean. There's See a big fan they are. <laughs> Let's get you some details. We want to let you know the show runs through April. I know you guys have already had your first performance. It went very, very well. Sell out crowd. So if you want to catch it, the Wick Theater, the place to look. We've got tickets. We've got the link actually to our website. It's wick.org. You all, you were a hoot. Thanks so much for coming in and, and being here. Break a leg. Thanks yeah. for having us. Yeah. Thanks all right.